We're living out our Hugh Jackman fantasy today. If you want to smoke cigars and look away from explosions, then this is the build for you. So for character creation for this build, you must pick the wretch because I said so. And it's very important, it's absolutely critical that you make your character look like Hugh Jackman. It's a little known fact in Elden Ring, but the larger your sideburns are, you actually do more damage to the enemy. So it's very important to make sure those sideburns look fresh. How you play this build is to slice and dice the enemies with the hook claws, take some damage and heal it back with the bestial vitality incantation because we're Wolverine, baby, a couple of bullets, hammers, swords, dragons, they never hurt us. To complete this look, we are using the hook claws as our main weapon and the claw mark seal. The seal is used to cast all sorts of completely Marvel lore appropriate incantations like the bestial sling, the beast claw, and beast vitality. I guess other incantations can be used as well, but I've never seen Logan sling a fireball or a lightning strike, have you? The claws can be two-handed, which will bring out both of your claws to show that you're really mad. And these claws do blood loss build up, especially when you have both out, you can deal tons of blood loss bleed up to all of those enemies that are getting in your way and stopping you from saving the day. These claws also scale with dexterity and strength, just like Wolverine's actual claws. I bet they scale with dexterity and strength. And we are also putting the beast raw ash of war on our claws because in every X-Men movie, you gotta yell at someone. And it's exactly the kind of attack that Logan does. It's actually a solid ranged attack. It'll hit multiple targets and deal decent amount of damage. And I completely understand why Logan does this now. It deals heaps of damage to his enemies. It also is keen scaling, so it scales with dexterity. So it is a perfect addition to our hook claws. Wolverine is big on incantations and there's a couple that we're using here. The first is the bestial sling, which slings these numerous rock shards at enemies. It's like throwing sand in your enemy's face. Totally something I can see Logan doing. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. We're also using the bestial vitality, which heals HP over a period of time. This is good for bosses and any order of enemies. If you take a little bit of health damage, you can just pop this and heal back exactly like Logan does in all of the movies. And the last is beast claw, which creates claws that tear through the land. This is, can be charged up. It's a great AOE attack in a cone in front of you. It's a brilliant incantation. All of these and the Beast Roy Ash of War come from the Beastial Sanctum from Garak, the Beast Clergyman. He is your OG homie. He'll teach you all of this good stuff. You have to bring him Death Root so he can teach you all of this good stuff. They can be found throughout the world. The first one can be found in the Death Touch catacombs. There's also one later on in the Black Knife catacombs. They will primarily come from killing the Tibia Marina bosses that you'll find throughout the world like in Summon Water Village or the Carrion Study Hall just like near there. And These are the main ways that you'll get them. But once you have given him one of these Death Roots, your beast eye will quiver anytime you get near one, so you'll be able to know when you can find them. For your flasks, I think that Wolverine drinks a lot of scotch, and so we're basically just gonna be going health for the most part. You'll have probably two flasks in FP, just so you can use your bestial abilities. For your attributes, I have faith that Wolverine does not min-max his attributes. I don't think he really cares, but faith and dexterity are your primary stats, primarily dexterity for the hook claws. That's going to be our main scaling attribute and then faith for all of these faith incantations that we are using for the bestial powers that we have. And vigor and endurance are also very important to vigor to give you more health so you can survive a lot of attacks and endurance to roll and dodge and deal that damage back at enemies. I've never seen Logan run out of stamina. He's always running at things. The Wolverine gear for this set, well, Wolverine doesn't wear armor. Have you ever seen Hugh Jackman wearing a shirt? I haven't. You can just throw that garbage out. We're invincible, remember? We just heal everything back. We never die. The main things we're using are the Claw Mark Seal, which comes from a Garak, the Beast Clergyman as well. You give him one Death Root and he'll give you this straight up. It stacks with Strength and Faith, so it doesn't mix perfectly with this Dex based build, but because it does give the damage bonus to the Bestial Incantations, which is what we're primarily using, that's why we've gone with this seal. The Hook Claws can be found in Stormvale Castle near the Rampart Tower sign of Grace. These is where you get these delicious claws so you can slice the enemies. We're also using the Ur Tree's Favor, which you can get in Frinfolk Hero's Grave and open the Imp Statue from the Stranded Graveyard side of Grace. You have to drop down this little secret part as you are going down. You can get this. This will increase your HP, your stamina, and your equip load. So it's perfect for this build. Other than that, you could use the claw talisman to increase your jump attacks. Jump attacking is pretty powerful with the hook claws if you want to go that route. There's a few other options, like if you wanted to heal damage back done by critical hits or something like that. But it's really up to you. I don't think Logan cares what kind of talisman he's wearing. He just wears his dog tags half the time. Wolverine tips and tips to play this build. If you haven't guessed already, this build isn't entirely serious. 
this, but it does actually kind of work and it is a little bit fun. And even if your stats are a little wonky, you probably should put some armor on if you are trying to play this seriously, but you know, that's up to you. If you can complete the game with this build, then my imaginary hat is absolutely tipped to you. I would like to know if anyone does actually play as this build. This is a bit of a meme, but you can make something cool happen with the hook claws. They are a good weapon and the beast incantations are also fantastic. So there is some good stuff in here that we're just having a bit of fun today. I hope you enjoyed this build. I had a lot of fun putting it together and I'm going a bit stir crazy making builds. So I thought it was fun to just muck around today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day. Excelsior!